How to upload image to Midjourney 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. And in this video, we're going to be discussing on how you can upload any type of image onto your Midjourney. And obviously further on, use it for, you know, editorial aspects, use it for artistic aspects and much, much more. So I'm going to be taking you through all the steps. I'm going to be taking you through how you're going to set your mid journey up how you can you know access it onto your discord and how you can you know add prompts to it add it to your server and obviously the main topic of the video i'm going to also show you how you can upload images onto it and use those images as your design template okay and it's going to be really simple really fun and really easy make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the info i have to provide you so yeah without further ado let's get straight into it so to start things off what you're going to do is you're going to come over to google and you're going to come to midjourney.com okay as you can see clearly in front of you here you you have it midjourney.com so midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species okay so obviously you're going to go ahead straight into the section and you're going to click on it so here you are midjourney.com so in midjourney.com as you can see here you have the main thing going on and in the background you can see all these you know different lines of codes you have different prompts and stuff you know a lot of stuff going on and um, obviously moving on you're going to come down here we're in the about where it's going to tell you about itself so midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought and expanding the imaginative powers of human species now we're you know midjourney is a small self-funded team focused on design human infrastructure and artificial intelligence they have 11 full-time staff and an incredible set of advisors obviously you can see all their information down here if you want to but obviously i'm not going to go into that i'm going to go into how you're going to actually access this amazing ai so to access this what you're going to do is you're going to come here where it says join the beta and once you click on it okay before starting everything off let me do tell you you are going to need discord like midjourney is totally discord based and uh, it's essential to have discord for your midjourney if you don't have discord then it's not going to work so once you do that as you can see it's going to accept the invite using your discord and then you're going to open your discord so it's going to bring you straight here into the mid journey server here you are so obviously at first sight i can you know you can tell that it looks pretty complicated there's like a lot of things going on and you know it looks pretty complex but don't worry it's pretty simple so what you're going to do is you're going to come on the left hand side where you can see the general rooms and servers and you're going to click on any newcomer room so let's say i'm going to go in newbies 29 okay let's go in this newcomer room so to obviously you know work with the all the things and stuff and the privileges and features given to us by midjourney what we're going to do is first of all realize how you're actually going to make art so to make art you're going to have to give midjourney a prompt and to give it a prompt we're going to have to write slash imagine okay there you go and as you can see now it gives you a prompt so here you can write anything so you can write red apple on the titanic or something like that and you're going to write that and obviously it's going to make something artistic related to your prompt so as you can see people over here are giving tons and tons of prompts so this person wrote imagine illustration brain struck by a lightning flat vector logo and then this person wrote mystical midsummer night forest horse lights beautiful magical scene close up now you can either s describe the scene in a whole like paragraph or sentence or you can give it you know these tags and prompts with commas and as you can see both of them work equally the same and it's absolutely amazing and then the fun thing with mid journey is that you get the option you can upscale these images and you can also make variations of an image which is also pretty good stuff so you know as i told you for you know the image generation just slash imagine and then you know add whatever prompt you have to add and then obviously you're going to get these images and then obviously if you like an image let's say there's this jester image and let's say or you know what i saw a better image up here yeah let's say this person has a backyard garden party vector poster and you know looks pretty nice looks pretty artistic so let's say i want to go with the second one so i'm going to do u2 and what this will do is it will upscale the second one for me and yeah i'm gonna have that photo down here and as you can see here it is and then you just download it just open it in web and download it for there so pretty simple isn't it now let's talk about how you're gonna upload an image so to upload an image what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here in text bar click on this plus icon click on upload a file and then you're obviously gonna upload any random file so let's say i'm gonna upload this file just as an example like this is not something artistic i'm just giving you an example so upload any image 
And once you upload an image, you're going to right click, you're going to click on copy link, and then you're going to come here. Imagine you're going to paste your link comma, and then start writing all your prompts like, okay, with this image, you're going to correlate this art or this style. And that is how you can upload images. And then moving further on, let's also discuss, like, obviously, as you can see, some people might have an issue with uploading their personal or private images into the, you know, public section, because obviously once you're into the newbie room, everyone can see what you're making, what you're writing or what you're uploading. So many people might have an issue with that. So let's discuss on how you can make a private server for a mid journey, how you can, you know, keep your stuff private. So to do so, what you're going to do is you're going to come here where it says add a server and you're going to click on add a server and you're going to go ahead and click on create my own. So tell us more about your server in order to help you with your setup. Is your new server for just a few friends or a larger community? I'm going to go with for me and my friends. And then you're obviously going to write something like, uh, you know, private mid journey server. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create it. And as you can see, you have created a server for mid journey, but obviously this is just a blank server. Like there's not a lot of stuff going on in this. Do not worry. Let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to come over to mid journey. And once you come over to mid journey, you're going to click on the mid journey bot on the right hand side, and you're going to click on add the server. Then you're going to go ahead, select the server. You're going to choose the server you want to add it to continue click on authorize, you know, verify things that you are human and everything. And once you've authorized success, mid journey bot has been authorized and added to your private mid journey server. And as you can see, now you can start going ahead imagine or you know write different prompts so imagine there we go start writing your prompts and obviously it's gonna start making those prompts for you so how cool is that and you can do the same with uploading images it's totally private it's totally great and it's absolutely out of this world although it might take more time than it may take on its main mid journey server but it's private it's only for you and it's totally great stuff so yeah pretty fun pretty essential pretty great stuff that you can do for yourself and for your your mid journey server. So yeah, if I were to give an overview of all the things, what you're going to do again is go to, you know, Google midjourney.com over here, you're going to come and join the beta. And obviously look at all these great immaculate designs. Look at the attention to detail and everything. And you can create all these designs using your images or prompts. So, uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.